Good evening from Epcot Center. We're here tonight to kind of continue, not continue our Adventures Around World Showcase, but kind of expand upon them. When we were exploring all the different worlds and countries around World Showcase, we found out that there was a lot of different places that we haven't eaten before. So tonight, we're eating in Restaurant Marrakesh over in the Morocco Pavilion. It's the first time I've ever done this. I'm excited. The menu looks really interesting. So let's go do it. Oh, another thing before we head back there, we did get an announcement that this entire entry plaza is getting refurbished. All of these, we call these the tombstones, all of these Leave a Legacy tombstones are being dismantled and being taken out, whereas all of the photos from Leave a Legacy will be moved to just outside of the gates of the park. And all of these giant structures will be gone and this will be just planters here. So it'll be wider, more open, and more picturesque. Another thing we're getting in that refurbishment is a while ago, there used to be these three spires right here, three glass spires, and they've been taken out. And during the refurbishment, they're putting new ones in. Another thing about the concept art that people were kind of like, kind of saying a lot online is that they think that innoventions will be gone. I don't think that's true. I think they just stopped drawing the concept art just after Spaceship Earth. So I think innoventions will still be here. At least the buildings will be, but they just didn't draw them in the concept art. Sorry, I'm running during this whole first part of the vlog, but I'm late trying to meet Chris Pratt back there, our friend Chris Pratt, back at Morocco, and uh, I was supposed to meet them like 10 minutes ago. So, we're late. All right, we made it to Morocco, only 25 minutes late. Not too bad. So we are almost back at Restaurant Marrakesh, and the one thing that we learned since doing the tour of this pavilion is, this is supposed to be the clock. I guess there's something to do with the light coming through these slats and these bells here are a clock, some form of clock. And that's why I didn't understand this, where it was like the clock. I didn't really look at the menu so much, but one of the things that Jen was like, you should get the crispy cheese, oh no, it's crispy bread. Go cheese with crispy bread. I think that's what I'm gonna get. So I don't know if the menu outside had all the prices, but here are all the different prices of everything. I have to say this is a little bit inside the normal comfort zone. That's okay. I don't even know what I'm gonna get. Also, we're here with Chris Pratt oh. and Charmaine and Michelle. Hello. This is your, your entire family this time. The last time we were together, it was just like a mandate that we went on. Yeah, <laughs> figured out what I'm doing. I'm doing this, I'm doing the taste of Morocco because that'll give me a good taste of Morocco. The appetizers have started to roll out. This is the goat cheese and crispy bread. And then this is Moroccan merguez sausage. And this is the mussels. This is my Taste of Morocco salads. Taste of Moroccan salads. Three salads. Yeah. Looks like carrots? I think so. Carrots, olives, olives and uh, cucumber, and tomato. I've had a bite of every one of these, and all three are delicious. This is cold. I didn't actually expect it to be cold, but it is cold. Carrots are super soft, so it's like they cooked the carrots and then made them cold. The it, olives, delicious. And it's very fresh. Everything is very fresh and refreshing. Let's try this crispy bread and goat cheese. It's just like pita and goat cheese. That is so good. Wow. This bread is like, that is good. The goat cheese is like a little bit salty and this bread is not as crispy like a fried bread. That is really good. After thinking about the flavor of this cheese, I'm gonna kind of equate it to a Borson cheese. It's really good. I enjoyed this a lot. Got some entertainment going on over here too. He's playing the piano. Every time that they do this fancy tea, they get this really tall pour out of it. Oh dear. The belly dancer just came out. Whoa. Here is my couscous royale. Look at that. That's quite the spread. 
And then they also brought out some arisa sauce. They said it's very spicy. And then I would love to tell you everything else that is on the table, but it is very loud, and I'm not really sure what everything is. This looks like the short rib. And then this looks like a beef skewer. And then this looks like some form of shrimp. We're gonna put some of this spicy sauce on my chicken. So, we'll see how spicy it is. Not incredibly spicy, but it does have like a little hint of spice in it. It's not making me sweat or anything like that. It's a good flavor. That chicken was super tender too. And I like it, it was delicious. It's funny because I had the chicken first and then I had the beef and the chicken was more tender than the beef was. The beef had a good flavor, but it was very like chewy. This beef is super tender. Oh uh, yeah, unlike pork. Chris's fork, he just tender. cut it with his fork. Yeah, it's really good. Wow. I wish I had gotten that beef. Just had a little bit of the sausage. I'm gonna have a little bit more, but it kind of has a little bit of a spice to it. It's funny because it's spicier than the spicy sauce that they said was spicy. Oh, it's somebody's birthday again. Let's give this lamb a try. Wow. That is super tender and very flavorful. I like it a lot. I will say this though about this restaurant. Everything has been delicious. All the food has been delicious, but it's very loud and it seems to be everybody's birthday in the restaurant. Because they've said they've said happy birthday probably like 15 times since we've been here. I decided not to eat all of my couscous because I still have like baklava's coming. I feel like you do get a lot of food with this meal though. Look at all that couscous. They brought out the dessert menus, which mine comes with desserts. But I'm kind of, I don't really understand warm beignets with cinnamon and cloves. This is a very interesting thing. Oh, uh, by the way, the music stopped, so it's very quiet in here now. Here's my assorted baklava that we got. I thought there was gonna be way more than there are, but I don't know, it still looks good. I like that they gave me a little smiley face. This is like a like an abstract face, which I, I feel like I'm gonna eat a Picasso. They all got the beignets, which look delicious. I've gotten mostly through my baklava. The one that was here was just a normal almond baklava. The one that was over here that looked like a little pouch was uh, cashews. This one is peanut butter and it is so good. I want 10 more of those. I did want to show you guys the cost of dinner. It was a, uh, a pretty expensive meal. After tip, it ended up being around $94. The end of the night is falling on restaurant Marrakesh. Barely anybody left in here. Just a couple of tables. I know I kind of went over this in the tour video, which we'll put a link to that in the description down below, but it's amazing. The architecture in here is amazing. And all of this tile is hand cut. This is all hand carved. These tiles are all hand cut. It's amazing, amazing architecture. I thought we would step outside to illuminations, but it seems as if it's all over. After dinner, I went into the bathroom and one of the things that I noticed, and this was actually really funny, it's one of the things that I learned on the backstage magic tour that Disney sent me on. None of the bathrooms inside of a Disney park have mirrors over top of the sink. And that is to save time. So when a guest comes in, they use the bathroom, then they go to wash their hands, and they don't stand there and fix their hair or check their appearance in front of the sink. They move off to the side where the mirror is so that somebody else can use the sink. So I figured I would take this time to kind of tell you what I thought of the Moroccan dinner at Restaurant Marrakesh. It was delicious. I would 100% eat at Restaurant Marrakesh again. Fantastic. It was kind of expensive for what I got, and that's only because I got the taste of Morocco and that was $55 and then I ordered another appetizer on top of that just to kind of like see the appetizers. I think that you can get away with not spending as much money, but it was good. And it was a lot of food too, and especially because I got two appetizers. But even if I hadn't gotten to two appetizers, the couscous on the bottom of my little taste of Morocco kind of made up for that. Just realized that they've started putting out topiaries for Flower and Garden Festival. It's still Festival of the Arts right now. I think this is the last weekend for it. So it's pretty interesting to see topiaries with the Festival of the Arts banners all around Epcot. I feel like these might be newer topiaries. Peter Pan looks kind of different to me. There's a new band at the Canada Pavilion. Is this the guy that sings about baby belugas? Before we leave, I wanted to show you guys 
the chalk art, this is a 3D chalk art, it says to stand here and then I think somebody stands down there and takes your photo and that way it looks like you're in there with the Incredibles. Here are just some regular pieces of chalk art that some artists came out here and did. These are so vivid and sharp. So good. It looks really amazing. I just think it's going to melt away in the next rain. Right? This one's actually really interesting because what the artist does is she has different guests come in and color in a square and then she comes in later and draws the figment. And then you can see here she signs it Lee and the Epcot guest. Wow. I really wish that I could draw anything, but I can't. I'm not a good drawer but I wish I was. I know that this is probably not visible on the camera because it's nighttime, but they have put in the flower quilt over here for Flower and Garden Festival. I'll actually, I'm gonna go down that little pathway over there and get a closer look. Here's a little bit closer look at the quilt work of flowers. This looks like it's a Mickey right here. Another thing that's interesting is throughout the season for Flower and Garden, these colors will change based on what flower is in season. So right now here at the beginning, I like the end of February, right before Flower and Garden, these are the colors that are in season, but maybe towards the end of Flower and Garden Festival, this purple will be a red, and this yellow will be like an orange. Oh dang, we missed it. If you guys see these PhotoPass photographers, they do a special nighttime photo that's a long exposure with an LED panel that they run behind you, and it ends up being a design behind you. It's a really neat PhotoPass experience, but they're not doing it anymore. They're cleaning up now. So there you have it. That was our trip to Epcot to go to Restaurant Marrakesh in Morocco. It was fantastic. I really enjoyed the food. I really enjoyed the company. If you guys haven't subscribed to The Holy Moly yet, we'll leave a link in the description down below so you guys can check them out. It was a good time. I want to go back and try more things. Yeah. That baklava, I actually asked them to bring me a second of the peanut butter ones and they did. The service was amazing and get the beignets as well. They're really, really good. Yeah. And we were talking about price a little bit. Oh, Monorail. Uh, we were talking about price a little bit. And I told you guys that my meal was $93, $94. That is solely because I ordered the sampling meal, which was $55, and then another appetizer. So you guys had, your meals were around $50 a piece? Yeah. So that's about what I would have paid if I had just gotten the sampling meal and not the extra appetizer. Fantastic night, fantastic company. Thank you guys. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.